Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Comedian Donnell Rawlings is coming to San Antonio this weekend. He's going to be at Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club, and he is joining us this morning with more. Hi, Donnell. It's nice to see you. Thanks for making some time for us this morning. Thank you. Off we go <laughs> into the wild blue yonder. Climb me high. <laughs> I'm starting to I'm starting to have flashbacks when I was in basic training at Lackland Air Force Base. And I, and I always get excited when I come back. I always go on a base. I go visit some of the places I used to hang out and reminisce about the good times I had in the military back in the day. I love that. That is so good to hear. I was going to ask you, is there somewhere in San Antonio that you have to go when you're here or like a, a particular food, maybe taco that you have to have? Um, I don't know. I went to, I can't even remember the place, but I went to somewhere in San Antonio. It was a late night spot. They had great music. They had great fried fish. And I know it was good because I, I was trying to stay away from fried food. I took one bite of it and I was like, I need a, I need a basket of fried fish. I wish I knew the name of the establishment, but it was amazing. But again, I'm excited to come to San Antonio. I'm just coming off of my Netflix special, which came out February 27th. It charted. Uh, it started at number two, then it stayed in the top 10 for like a week. And now I'm on the Black and Mild Comedy Tour with a new set. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. <laughs> I like to hear that. All right, let's talk a little bit about the new show that's on Netflix, because I know you worked with Chappelle on that. So I haven't yeah. seen it yet, but I can imagine it's pretty funny. I mean, it's pretty funny. I mean, it wouldn't be suitable for your daytime audience. But, <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, people have those little wine nights. They want to get a little feisty. Mm -hmm. and they don't want to subscribe to what I consider is kind of fading, cancel culture. Yeah. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that I'm a, um, a PG comic. I'm not vulgar, but I do, I, 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 I do, like, walk the line. Someone asked me one time, he said, Daniel, can a joke be too soon? I said, a joke can be too soon, but it never can be too soon for a funny observation. <laughs> so when you come to the Donnell Rawlins show, you're going to get a guy that's, you know, like uh, unedited, unfiltered. He's funny. And my comedy, I think, reaches everyone. And I think everybody can find something funny and something happy and something to be excited about when you come to my show. Absolutely. I, I feel like, you know, it's got to be tough being a comedian, especially in the time that we're in right now where everyone's offended by something. I feel like it's gotten a little bit better over the last year or so because it was bad for a while. But no, no, how do the you... reason why it was bad, and the thing about it is, like, everybody's not offended. It's, but the problem is we're giving too much focus on a minority or a small amount of people that may disagree and, and, yeah. or not like a certain type of comedy. If you put a comedy, a comedian special up and you ask people, what do you think about it? If you, if you take 100 people, you might have three people that say they didn't like it and they were offended. Then you have 97 people that loved it, but the only focus and attention is going to go on to people that, that 3%. But I think a lot of people are kind of fed up with trying to just you know, like um, put a muzzle on comics. Yeah. And you go out, when you go to a comedy show, you go out to hear what that comic feels and how that comic feels about life. My good friend Dave Chappelle, a year ago he told me, he said, Donnell, it's our job to make fun of the things that are troubling the world. So when you come out to my show, you're going to get a relief, you're going to have a good time, and, 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 and we're going to make you laugh. I love that because, you know, we all need to laugh a little bit more. And look, I know what I'm getting into when I'm coming out to see a comedy I mean, you show. Can Google, right? You can Google, you can Google <laughs> me. You could do whatever. And if you don't like it, you don't you don't have to come. I want everybody to come, but I'm not going to stress anybody. I have a strong fan base over 30 years. People that have been supporting me. I think this is my fifth time in San Antonio. Yeah. So I'm coming back to any of those people that want to have a good time. Well, we are going to host you, and we want you to have a good time. So thank you I so much. I got to say one, one more thing yeah, before I leave. Me. I'm rich. I won't say the end of it. The producers <laughs> get nervous when I say that. But Antonio, uh, come out and let's have fun. Hey, Donnell, thank you so much. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning. Got that special on Netflix. Check it out and go see Donnell at LOL this weekend. Follow him on social media, media Donnell Rawlings, and then go to DonnellRawlings.com for more details.